Hi guys, welcome to Technical Mentor channel. Today our topic is ECG heart rate detection. So we already discussed ECG filter design in the previous videos. If you want to learn about ECG filter design in MATLAB, please watch my previous videos in the playlist. So come to the point and today our topic is ECG heart rate detection. Our task is to detect the momentary heart rate over a period of time. It is not the average heart rate but the frequency derived from the times between adjacent heart beats. We have to design a detector which detects, detects the individual heart beats in ECG and implement this filter as a matched filter. The matched filter should detect the R peaks of the ECG and template of the matched filter should be calculated analytically from a mathematical formula. Think which analytical function look like an R peak and then calculate the template by sampling such a function that it matches the R peaks. For example, maximum heads difference of Gaussian, derivative of Gaussian ETC, test at least two different templates based on two function decide which one is best suitable and provide a reason based on the output of matched filter. Now, now we discuss the steps we have to do in this task. We have to implement a program in MATLAB which use the output of the match to filter on the filtered ECG from step 4 which we have already developed in the previous video. Please watch the, my, my previous videos to see the filtered ECG data. To calculate momentary heart rate over time by measuring the intervals between the detected heart beats over the whole period of the ECG, detect the heart beats by employing the R threshold Secure the output of the detector to improve the signal to noise ratio. Use my heuristics to weed out wrong detection. For example, heartbeat is usually below 2 BPM and above 30 BPM. Show the momentary heart rate. So, uh, we, uh, first of all, we see the theoretical work which I have developed. So. ECG peak detection. Make a detector that detects the individual heart beat using matched filter. Take following step to make detector. Make a template of heart beat signal using filtered ECG which we have made in step 3 in the previous video. PQRST is equal to output of handing data from 5100 to 6000. Now we now use time reverse template to show the Correlation operation. Flip PQR, PQRST, flip uh, LR, PQRST. We put the ECG signal in matched filter and secure the signal to achieve an amplified signal with nice ratio. In the figure, we can see that the PQRST wave is much clearer and distinct in the matched filter. ECG signal is compared to the wave we got in step 3. Therefore, to different process, we need pre-filtering to get this distinct ECG filter. Here is task 1 and we have also to do task 2. Now we detect the momentary heart rate by measuring the interval between the heartbeat that we detected over the whole ECG time period. And then we are applying that threshold. We detect, we use filter data that we got in step 3 and also use match filter and secure match data that we got in step 5a. To detect every pulse, we use threshold which is said to be 5000. We use low loop to detect the heartbeat signal. Then we calculate the heartbeat per minute by using the following formula. To prevent the detection of sample plus, we use the flag. When we count zero, our program will detect the new signal steps showing the momentary heart beat. Uh, here are the results, but now we see the MATLAB programming to do this task. First of all, we 
uh, set a global filter name as filter and create a figure okay and use the handing output which, which we got from handing technique and from 15 5100 to 6000 okay implement and plot the pqrst okay why result are not showing i think there is mistake so we take again and let's see result oh thanks so you can check p q r s t p q r s t okay this are this is the result from step 3 we already done now we flip the pq flip the result flip plr is a matlab dual 10 function you can see the physics function okay we implement to use matched so flip the result you can see the template okay this is flip data now we filter the data by using our function my f f f f my fair data using flip data we initialize a filter and uh, calculate the heartbeat using handing output handing output and flip qrst data okay we calculate heartbeat and plot the heartbeat with the matched filter data okay you can see heartbeat okay now uh, we uh, calculate sound to noise ratio sound to noise ratio snr and plot the sine to n ratio and this is the this is the uh, square of filtered data okay you can check this okay now we uh, input uh, original ecg data which we developed in the previous uh, video um, by the given data and we use two data create a graph and we see the original ecg graph from you can see this this is this original this is original pqrst this is original pqrst okay this is original and this is filtered you can see the difference okay and now flip the original ecgp okay now we flip you can see this is flip this is flip you can see flip the original and now we use our fir function in the flipped data okay we apply the command and this is our original flip data and we see the result create a figure you can see this is flipped ecg with match data okay now we have to do part two here is part two okay here is part two it's a momentary head rate or period of time part two okay here is part two now we detect the momentary heart rate by measuring the interval between heart rate okay so we implement this formula let's see second part count and fly variable we use count and fly and generate a pulse using s and r variable okay and create a p variable and now we for if for if loop to set threshold interval when we set interval heart rate per minute 
ओके काउंट सो वी इंप्लीमेंट लोप एंड वी सी द रिजल्ट मंट्री हेड पीट ओके दिस इज आवर मोमेंट्री हेड पीट इज एट फाइनल रिजल्ट सो टूडे आवर टॉपिक इज इंडेड एंड आवर फिल्टर डिजाइंड टॉपिक आई हैव इंडेड फिल्टर डिजाइन टॉपिक इन द in the previous video so thanks for watching please like and share my video thank you so much